played the game. Hey, Orange Ginger. I subconsciously got him last night. I don't even remember getting him. I got I, I already know how to do all... I know how to do everything in this game. <clears throat> they should re-release this game for the 3DS. But Nick, or Big Boss Jelly, they can't re-release this on the 3DS. It's owned by Microsoft. No, Retro can still make DS games because look at Diddy Kong Racing. What was Diddy Kong Racing DS on? That's right. The DS. <laughs> Uh, the only thing I don't think they, I don't think they could actually use Banjo Kazooie assets, and this is something I mentioned to a lot of people, and I don't feel like a lot of people know this, but there was a Halo DS game in the make in the works. Go look it up; it's literally a thing. Halo DS. I believe there are some people that were actually the lucky sons of bitches that got to actually play it, and apparently it functions pretty well. Uh, I might have been on IGN; I'm not sure, but. It was impressive, and I really wish it was a thing, but obviously it wasn't going to be a thing. And just one of those missed opportunities. I mean, Microsoft really doesn't even have a plat um, port portable platform besides the smart glass, really. So I don't see it as a big deal in doing something like that. I mean, why not? You're marketing to... Nintendo fans like, hey, you like these mic? You can look at these games we have on Microsoft. You can play these on our Xbox. And so you were introducing like this different game to a different platform without actually being the hardcore platform. Like it wouldn't be an actual console game, obviously. It would be just this little portable little thing just to introduce it to a different audience. And once again, if you had asked me like. Well, can't they release a console Mario game on Xbox? I would say absolutely not. Do no. <laughs> so there is this. Uh, there's definitely this. Uh, the fanboy prejudice that we have, like we don't want our, we don't want our exclusives on other systems, and also we don't. The companies themselves don't want to lose this exclusive, <laughs> exclusivity. I can't even talk today. Uh, so. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, so they don't want to lose their exclusives, and they don't want to just like hand them out to everybody. So obviously, <laughs> ah, God, if I could just articulate my thoughts real quick, I was just doing something important real quick. Uh, Gotta fight Conga. Uh, but what I was saying is, you don't obviously you don't want to get rid of your exclusives to another per person, and that gets rid of the exclusive. Part of being exclusive, it's no longer exclusive. Is that if that's the case? Blah. Yes, you're defeated. Give me my jiggy. There are like three jiggies just around here. Yeah, because I got them from the oranges. I got them from the monkey, and I got it from Conga. Just beating the shit out of them. Okay, so we got four. We're on, we're on pretty good roll right now. Uh, once again, I should not have come here first because I have to go mm, get the ground pound ability to open up Grunty's little dealio. <laughs> once again, I cannot art articulate my thoughts right now. I don't know why. And that sprite is not helping my tongue at all. Should have got something better to do. Uh... Bring up the ground pound and we should be good. We should be set. No more tutorial bullshit. No, well, Banjo, there's nothing more I can teach you. Oh, he must have. Oh, last time I didn't notice he told me that he taught me everything. Okay, so we're good. Boom. Almost got. 70% of these notes. Bah. I'm also not going to forget anything this time around. Uh, because uh, last time we... <laughs> the last run I forgot that there was a... God, what did I forget that there was? <laughs> hmm. Oh, there's another honeycomb. I would have forgotten about it again if I just didn't remember it now. 
Don't worry, I'll forget about it before we leave. Get your jiggy in this one. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Damn, five. Halfway there. Living on a prayer. Take my hand, we'll make it, I swear. <laughs> Copyright strike. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm getting tired of this bullshit. Damn it. Damn it, come on. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna use the last guy. I don't know how I remember this one was up here, but not the one in the mountain. Uh, come on. Wow, I thought I missed. Okay, what else? I'll take it. Get this mumbo skull. We need three more. I don't remember where the other three are. So let's go on an adventure. I just did this. How do I not remember where they are? I know one's in the anthill. One's over here. Never mind. I remember where most of them were. Still, don't, I'm still a little hazy. Oh, wait. No, yes. I still don't know where the other one is. I just totally forgot. It's probably over there. I'll find it. I'll find it. I'll find it. It's all good, G. Uh, we won't even have another transformation until uh, the swamp level, so I can just hold on to a few in the Treasure Trove Cove and the Clanker's Cavern. Damn. Okay, I think I've got them all. Don't want to miss them. Let's go get that ginger. Damn it, draw distance. I mentioned that too. The draw distance in these old 64 games. Just not as good as I remember them. The South Park game is definitely just atrocious when it comes to frame, uh, drop, draw distance, yeah. And I gotta go become a termite. First, get this mumbo skull. Get this mumbo skull, get one more. Hmm. And, uh, shit. That's why you shouldn't drink and drive, kids. <laughs> One more mobile skull. Gotta hit the Grunty statue or sta Grunty switch. That's what I'm gonna call it. And I should be good, good to roll. I should be able to get back to where I was before I. <laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> no, not enough. I don't understand it, but I'll take it. Yep, there it was. Thought so. And also, this is all muscle memory. Well, obviously from the last time I played it, but from when I screwed up. But no, seriously, I just remembered purely off muscle memory. And I'm going to remember everything else off muscle memory too. I don't know off the top of my head where Treasure Trove Cove's all of its stuff is. But when we get in there, I'll be like, oh yeah, it's right here right here and it's right here because the game's super memorable and it's just amazing it's like the best game ever under Super Mario 64 and Ban uh, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask that's it Majora's Mask Super Mario 64 Banjo-Kazooie in that order <laughs> best games of all time don't disagree with me uh, actually I was looking at the gameplay for this, the 3DS version of Majora's Mask and uh it's gonna be better. It's gonna be better in every single way. And it's like, at first you don't want to like admit that, but it's true. Majora's Mask for the 3DS is gonna be probably the better, it's definitely gonna be the better version of them. I don't know if I like it aesthetically, and we'll see if I like it challenging wise, but it seems like they've made improvements to like, oh, well, how are we supposed to know this is here and this is here? They added stuff to like the bomber notebook and they've it made it easier to get the bomber notebook, which is weird, but it's like, whatever. But they better replace something with that. <laughs> uh, and, uh, well, that doesn't even make sense. Get the bomber book from the Happy Mask Salesman? What the hell? <laughs> uh, sorry if you didn't want to know that already, but that's like, that's weird. It's a bomber notebook, unless they call it something completely different. And, oh, but the biggest thing, uh, is that you can warp to any specific time of the day, which is another, that was, a, I didn't gripe about it too much, but it would make things so much easier. Warping to that last boss at the end, oh, that would be so easy. I love fighting him over again. God, what happened to camera? 
It's like Majora's Mask and the camera got all fucked up. Yeah. Grab all these eggs, damn it, let me alone. Right, go up here, grab the extra life, and grab the last jiggy, and get out of here. Don't worry, I didn't forget about the other honeycomb either. Nope, too much of an incline. Also, I don't have to watch an intro. Speed run! Okay, we've got everything. We don't ever have to come back now. Until I, <laughs> until I miss this game, I want to come back and play it again. Sorry about my, my like right eye twitches. I got like something in my contact, and it's really weird. Okay, I was gonna say, did I ground pound that grunty switch? Because if I didn't, I'm gonna be super mad right now. Yeah, the ant just kind of moves really fast for some reason during that. Okay, we got a total of 12 jiggies right now. <laughs> just 88 more to go. The first 10 are super easy. And then I'm going to talk the vitals and we'll be exactly where we were. Uh, you know, looking at that wall right now, it seems like it's a lot smaller in 2 when you come back. Huh, that's kind of weird. Just wanted to point that out real quick. Uh, I'm going to make sure my stream is going perfectly fine. Ah, God. The number in the door, the strength of the spell. I don't know, I never would have figured out that a giant note on the door means all oh, you need notes, and then the 50 flashing, you need 50 of the notes, would have meant that. That's the. Come on. The game teaches itself that it has bottles explain it too, it's really weird. Easy for you. Just been left. That's the last one. That's the last lap of the early parts of the game, I believe. So, that was fun. I'll miss them. <laughs> I really will. Who have activated a cauldron by two at the same time create a shortcut? I don't even know if I'll need those in the end. Uh, let's go do this real quick. Oh, God, no, do it. Do it! Remove heat, it's already put down, press the C down, or the C button, I think it said down, whatever. I'm not gonna put them back. Why would you, why would you take them back? No, I wanna go to a different world instead. You're gonna go to all the worlds eventually, so you might as well put them in. Get more jiggies that way. Get more jiggies. There's another cauldron in here, so I'm gonna get that real quick. Uh, if I can be faster. I missed him. You back to the, oh, this is a good one. This is the one near Cliff Clockwood. It looks exactly like the one down. It's just a little less pink. Mm, exactly. <laughs> On my TV, it looked exactly like it. Could he have been like? I'm trying to think of if they're purple. I don't remember any purple cauldrons. Oh god, oh god, not what I wanted to do. That's okay, I just gotta go right over here. I literally just like blacked out for a second. I'm like, wait, where am I? I forgot what I was doing, Jesus. Uh, okay, I need to go over there and I can activate that one. This is where Clanker's Cavern is, I believe. Okay, yeah, the switch is right over there. Haha, <laughs> puzzles. This game was never about like actually puzzle solving, it was more like exploring and then a test of platforming skills, which I really, really like. Once it, it's really hard for me to explain why I love uh, collectathons as much as I do. Oh, we got we have to listen to this. Hello there, young ones. I'm Brentilda. Brentilda's nicer sister. I've crept in here to help you defeat the old hag. It's about time she was taught a 
a mess in I'm trying to like get my notepad up. I know all about these disgusting secrets, and I'll tell you the three of them every time you find me. Remember them. Well, good ones, as they will help you avoid a You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to remember. Press me if you would like to hear them. I want to hear them. Talk to me. Bertilda wears a reinforced girdle under that repulsive dress of hers. She's also got this nasty pet dog whose name is Big Naka. My sister sings in her own band. Grunty and the Cauldron Crew. They're awful. Okay. I'm going to try to avoid those questions when I get to them. But the more I know, the better. Hopefully I remember those. God damn it. I'm going to try to beat this in like two days, so we'll see. Tonight I'm trying to get as far as I like, possibly can. Okay. Let's see. What is is this Clankers where Clankers Cavern? Is this is like the bubble gloop swamp or something. Yes, yeah, it's the swamp one. <laughs> I'm not supposed to do this one yet. Okay, bottle, teach me. Just press Z, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> that's not the third level, it's the fourth level. So now I can go over to Bubble Gloop Swamp when I get enough notes. Cool. We are trekking right along this time around. Ah, uh, my buddy. Let's see, I think I'm going to go and try to find everything in Treasure Trove Cove. I'm not going to be able to... Probably. I think I know where all the jiggies are. Once again, it's been like at least three years since I have 100% of this. Uh, and I don't know. Wait. That's not where it is, is it? You, that's the Quick Walk Woods place. I can't even do that yet. I think it is. God, I can't. there's so much I'm like, wait, is that the...